People today have lost sight of the gift of marriage. I could not be more proud to stand here today. I'm confident that the Lord has you better next to Matt. And I pray that your marriage would point others to another amazing and great gift of God, the gift of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Matt, you are the steady, stoic rock. God has hardwired you with this serious mind and demeanor, but here's the thing, underneath that stoic outer shell is this man who is warm-hearted. You are genuinely considerate of others. I've seen it in the way you minister. I've seen it in the way that you move toward your bride. What gets me excited is to think about you continuing to pour all of those strengths and those gifts into your marriage. Cameron, when I think about you and the unique gifts that God has given you, He's gifted you. You are a woman who is extremely focused and purposeful, but like Matt, there is a warmth and there is a kindness to you. that you are able to love the Lord better and able to love those around you better by being by Matt's side. So, Matt, I trust you, and I trust you because of your love and faith in Jesus Christ, who's going to be able to love through you. Sixteen says this, one verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Who could be a hope in the middle of the drought and the flood? That whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Taste not wealth, not too little. So we remember you're in our I love you, Cameron. From the bottom of my heart and forever and ever, I will love you. Teach us to lie down in peace and to rest when the day is done. First time I met Matt, it was at our house. And she's never had a boyfriend. She's, you know, kind of a little bit low-keyed. And she kind of didn't even tell me that, you know, Matt was coming over. I came home, and there was this, you know, guy in the pool sitting on a tube floating around. And I wanted to go up and ask him. I was like, can I get you a drink or some, you know? something to snack on uh, and I went in the house and I said Cameron uh, who's a dude in our pool and, and she's like it's a friend it's, it's a friend from school dad sit by the fire and tell stories of the days that I Cameron take you Matt I Matt take you Cameron be my wedded husband to be my wedded wife to have and to hold to have and to hold this day forward
leading up to today, I kept thinking to myself, I can't believe the day's here. I can't believe Cameron's getting married. And I think it said it, I had said it like 12 times today too while we were getting ready. And not because I didn't think you were gonna get married one day or anything. Um, just because you're my baby sister. Cameron plays a vital role in our family. She is our baby, and she completed what we call our Kai clan. From day one, you were our treasure, and you were delighted in. For better, for worse. For richer, or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Throughout the years of knowing Matt and getting to live alongside him, I've been privileged to get to see all the sides of Matt from the good to the bad. I've been able to see the impact he has made in the lives of his friends, his family, and Bryan College Station. Matt is an amazing man, and Cam is an incredible woman. They both live their lives to honor the Creator, and I'm extremely confident that the Lord is going to use this marriage to do so much good, that they will raise a great family, and that they will impact their community in ways we can't even fathom. Two things come to word when I hear the words Matthew Joseph, and it depends on how these words are portrayed. If Cam or his mom say it, that means he did something wrong and he's in trouble. However, when I think of Matthew Joseph Thomas, I think of who Matt is, that Matt is a Christ follower above all else, and he is a man who is selfless. perfect for each other. Matt, I love you. Uh, I want to welcome to the family. I feel like I am part of the family and I love this family and I love my family. Thank you guys so much for coming out and I just want us to take a quick look to see how much we can all embrace each other and how great this is and how much we see the love in Matt and family.